Hi, I'm going to show you how to turn your drone on. If you turn your drone upside down, you'll notice here a little button that you can push. You need to push that and turn your drone on. Initially, you'll see a red light, an orange light, and then finally a green light, and that will indicate that you're ready to fly. Hi, I'm now going to show you how to connect the drone to your iPad. You need a couple of really important apps, one of them being Free Flight 3, and you also need the Tickle app. The Free Flight 3 app will allow you to fly the drone via remote control, whereas the Tickle app will allow you to fly the drone via coding. You need to make sure that the drone is on and that the lights at the front of the drone are green. The next thing you need to do is to go into settings. You need to make sure that the Bluetooth is on and that your iPad has identified and connected to your drone. Once this has happened, you then go into Free Flight 3. And in Free Flight 3, you'll notice that the drone has automatically connected to the app, indicated here by the green tick. We actually need to disconnect the drone from the Free Flight app so that we can use it in the Tickle app. So we click on that green tick and ask for the app to disconnect from the drone. Once that has occurred, we then go into the Tickle app. And when we go into the Tickle app, you'll see this page here called My Projects. You want to go into this one here called Airborne Cargo One. So click on that. And then you'll notice here an image of the drone. It's automatically connecting and you'll know that it is connected when you see the green battery lights. And that also lets you know how much battery life you've got left in the drone. You can click on that image and you'll see that this pops up and checks and ensures you'll see that the drone is connected. So we'll click on that tick and get out of there. Now you're ready to begin coding. What you want to remember before you go any further is this red icon down the bottom right hand corner of the little parachute. If you're mid-flight and, and a situation occurs and you want to stop your drone and bring it down safely to the ground very quickly, you simply click on that little red icon there. Something to remember. When you're finished, you need to disconnect the drone from your iPad because in your next session, you may not necessarily use the exact same drone. So to do that, again, you go up here to the icon of your drone, click on it, and it says that it's connected. You then go down here to the right-hand corner, you'll see a little red image here. You want to click on that little image or icon, and you'll notice that it will um, disconnect it for you. If, let's say, you wanted to keep going, you simply click on this icon here, and it will reconnect it. So clicking on that and disconnecting. So let's remember those three things that you need to do. You go into settings first and ensure that your Bluetooth is on and has connected to the device. You need to go into Free Flight 3 and disconnect the drone from Free Flight 3. You then go into the Tickle app and connect the drone via that application three quick steps. Now that you've finished flying your drone, you need to charge it ready for its next use. If you have a look at the rear of the drone, you'll notice a socket. Here is where you put, place the cord and then connect it to the socket that goes into the wall. You'll notice by the red light that the drone needs charging. Once it has turned green, it is ready to use again. Happy droning!